Hi friends. In this video, you will see a shared minibus service to travel from Phuket Airport to Patong, Kata, and Karan. I will share the service timings of these minibuses and also where to buy a ticket for your return trip to the airport. The best thing about this service is the minibus drops you right in front of your hotel. It is super convenient. The ride to Patong takes approximately one and a half hours, and for Kata and Karen, it can take two hours. Drop to the hotel is included in the cost of the ride, which starts at 180 baht per person. For Patong, the cost is 180 baht, and for the other two places, it is 200 baht. These prices were correct at the time of recording this video, but may change in the future. The shared minibus service is available from both the domestic and international terminals of the airport. While coming out of the airport, you will spot these counters, which sell tickets for the minibus. There are two separate companies, but both offer a similar service, at the same price. 10 to 12 passengers can travel in a bus, and being a shared service, the minibus waits for that many passengers to be available. That means, once you buy a ticket, you have to wait. It may take an hour, or even longer, for the minibus to depart from the airport. That is the only negative about this service. This requirement of at least 10 passengers is also related to the service timings of the shared bus. Your best chance of getting a shared minibus from Phuket Airport is between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. Outside of these timings, the minimum number of passengers are not likely to be available, and hence, you cannot take the shared ride. For the return trip from Patong to the airport, you can get a shared bus between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. I will show you where to get that ticket. Let us now see the actual ride. Once the passengers are available, and the bags are loaded, the journey to your hotel is quite pleasant. On the way, they stop at their office, to take the details of your hotel, and to sell conducted tours to those who are interested. It is all voluntary, and if you do not want to book any tours, it is okay. After that short stop, the bus resumes its journey. And depending on the traffic on the way, it may take a little longer than expected to reach your hotel. And because the driver has to drop all the passengers to their respective hotels, the actual journey time also depends on the location of your hotel. Some passengers will reach their destination a little sooner than the others. You should be prepared for that. It is a shared ride after all. Once the bus reaches your hotel, the driver hands over your bags to you. There is no need to tip the driver. Just a polite thank you is enough. For the return trip from your hotel to the airport, you can book a shared minibus from one of the booking agents as you see in the video. The cost of the return trip may be a little more, and you may have to pay 200 baht, instead of the 180 you paid while coming there. For the return trip, you will be picked up from your hotel. Keep in mind that the minibus will have to pick up other passengers from different hotels, before it starts for the airport. It is advisable to ask for pickup at least 6 hours before the departure time of your flight. I hope this video has helped in planning your next trip to Phuket. For any other information or feedback, please write a comment below, and I will respond as soon as possible. Consider giving a thumbs up, if you like the video, and subscribe for more such videos in the future. Many thanks for watching.